Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video tutorial we're going to be taking a deep dive into Wireshark, the incredible powerful and popular network analysis tool. So whether you're a network engineer, a system admin or just interested in understanding what's happening on your home network, Wireshark is an invaluable tool for capturing and inspecting traffic. There is a whole lot more that Wireshark can do when it comes to advanced analytics and troubleshooting. But consider this video to be your 101 intro tutorial. So the first step is to head over to the official Wireshark website at wireshark.org. Go to the download section and grab the installer for your operating system. It's available for Windows, Mac and all major Linux distros. Run through the installer accepting all the default settings. You don't need to do any advanced changes at this point. Once it finishes, Wireshark will be installed and ready to be used on your system. So go ahead and open it up. When you first launch Wireshark, the interface will automatically detect all of your computer's network adapters that it can capture traffic from. You'll likely see your wired Ethernet connection if you're on a desktop or your wireless card if you're on a laptop. If you happen to have both wired and wireless connections, you'll see the traffic flowing through both. So for simplicity today, let's just focus on the wired connection. Click on your target network card. This will put the interface into promiscuous mode, allowing it to start sniffing all the packets going through your connection. You should immediately see a ton of network activity in the form of captured packets, even if you are not actively browsing or downloading anything. And that's because of all the background communication between your computer and things like router, DNS servers, and other network services. So your computer is constantly chatting away without direct user interaction, and Wireshark exposes this kind of underbelly of networking. So I'll let the capture run for about 30 seconds and then click your network interface again to stop recording. In this short time, you've likely already captured hundreds if not thousands of packets, way more than we could ever analyze manually. And this is where Wireshark's filters come in super handy. They allow you to isolate just the traffic you care about based on protocols, IP addresses, and many other criteria. So for example, if you only wanted to inspect TCP and protocol traffic, you could simply type TCP into the filter bar at the top. This would hide all non-TCP packets, letting you focus on debugging a TCP connection issue for instance. You can filter on specific IP addresses, port numbers, and pretty much any packet that you want. The filters make digging through the noise really easy. To show how this works, I'll start another quick capture and then open up my web browser and navigate to youtube.com. After stopping the capture, I'll apply a display filter of http.host.contains.youtube to only show HTTP protocol going to YouTube servers. In the packet details, you can inspect the actual GET requests my browser sent, as well as the response packets sent back from YouTube servers. Now let's talk about why unsecured protocols like HTTP can be dangerous when it comes to your privacy. If I visit a basic website served over HTTP, at onquery.me, the site uses no encryption. I tried logging in with username, admin, and password 123. Because it's unencrypted HTTP, this info will be exposed. And after submitting the form, I switched back to Wireshark and searched for password, and there it is. My credentials in plain text in the HTTP post request. This clearly demonstrates just how crucial it is to use secure HTTPS connections at all times when browsing today. Otherwise, your private info could be easily intercepted. There are so, so many more ways that we can slice and analyze the captured packets in Wireshark, like drilling into DNS traffic, filtering by countries, inspecting bandwidth usage, and way more. Let us know if you want us to cover many of those more advanced techniques in the upcoming videos. Hopefully, this video provided a solid foundation for getting started with Wireshark and how you can install it and understanding encrypted versus unencrypted data so that you can stay secure at all times. And most importantly, using Wireshark ethically to analyze only the networks that you have permission to access. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful or enjoyable for you to watch. And if it was, let us know by leaving a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos that we make.